Hey guys, what's up? So today, yes, I'm in my ranch right now because I am busy right now. So I recently got a new Aliens figure, which is really cool. And I've always been wanted for the Aliens Isolation upcoming film. So that's coming sooner. Well, you know I mean. So, yeah, let me show you right now. This is the Aliens Burster Alien from Alien um, Elite Fire Elite Team. So I always want to get this one. So this is my second, third Alien figure. Actually, my fourth because the one I was a part of more, but doesn't work anymore. NECA, basically. NECA. So, um, I absolutely do really needed this one. I couldn't find this one here, which is the Spitter Alien, but I could, I could use this instead. It looks pretty okay. Like, it's a little full of acid or something like that. You can see here, it's just that it has a description here, too. So, I'm gonna box it right now, real quick. The tape is removed. Sorry, it took me a long time. So, for my truth. Wow, look at this guy. Sorry. Alright, he's out of the box. Now take a look at this guy. Wow, look at this. Wow, I got wait, can't wait to use him for Aliens Isolation. Cause I'm making a film called Aliens Isolation based on the um, video game. Let's hope I don't break him. So here we go. I think you can stand. Let's see if he stands or not. So Alrighty, so um yeah, he kind of stands a little. Yeah, I could use him for Aliens Isolation. Let's see if I can okay, connect. How do I stand this? Bad boy. <laughs> Bad boy. Oh, maybe I could just stand him like this. For now on. Yeah, I have it. Sorry, if you guys all the got too much Godzilla on this channel, so I'm going to do something more Aliens. So, here's the Xenomorph of Burster. And it looks pretty cool. Not the band, the Korean band, which I do listen to. Better than Bad Bunny. So, yeah. Here he is. But just look at this guy, he looks pretty cool. He can move his jaw too. And, um, he can move his hands like this. He can move his leg. He's even see through. Let me show you this like a light or not. Let me, see. Let me show you guys. Hold on. Hold on. Yes, even see through. Look, see, it's like opaque, transparent. Looks pretty cool. I like it. Yeah. So, so I guess I'm taking a break from the um, arachnoid alien because I've been using that too much. The alien figure. So I'm gonna use this for aliens isolation film, which is pretty nice. So I was thinking of making aliens bloody Sunday, but that one's. That was like a really ridiculous title. Sorry, I think maybe his tongue should be sticking out. Let's see. Alright, damn. Fuck, sorry. Oh! No worries, fixable. Here. Let me help you, little guy. I can't see. There we go. There we go. Like you see his tongue sticking out. Wait, stuff like that. There we go, I fixed him, so let's keep his mouth inside like this, close it. Yeah, I don't know why NECA makes those alien figures with his tongue like this. It looks funny, but it looks pretty cool at the same time. So, hope you guys want to see my full game prepared for Aliens Isolation, and it's going to be um, rated R, of course. The movie's going to be rated R. It's going to be like style of Sturgeon Studios films. So, it's going to be like Joe Sonic Boom's film. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna use this guy as the a actual aliens though that the character will be hiding from. So I'm gonna need like figures. I don't know what figures I use. Well, I use like Space Marines figures, I think. Yeah, I'll be using the Space Marines for the aliens attack scene. We're like, <gasps> I don't have my Predator at this moment, but I think I do have a Predator right now, but I don't have it. I'm gonna take it out right now. But yeah, so just check it out. Bendable tail, movable feet, and his hands are like this. I don't know why. I like to balance stand and make it stand like this for now on because I feel like it. It looks pretty nice. I really like it. So thanks for watching and peace out. 